Hello and welcome to the Miskas table, my name is Mons. And this week is the release week of the latest season of Warhammer Underworlds, Narwood. So I've made some space upon my shelf here for the latest, latest edition. And a new season of course means that there's new, new games to be played and I really want to start playing as soon as possible. But that also means that I need to paint my minis as soon as possible. So it's time to bring out the slap job. So while I'm building and priming my models, let's talk a little bit about what I'm gonna do here today. This warband consists of four models, and I'm gonna use a different slap shop technique for all of them. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'm not sure how many of you have watched Ninion's video where he shows off what he calls slap shop 2.0. And in that video, instead of a black base coat, he uses a red warmer base coat that complements the colors that he's gonna be painting with later. And if you haven't watched that video, you definitely should, and I have it linked in the description down below. So we start here from left to right, we have the first model, which I used the airbrush to paint a brown base coat. And then I use a white yellowish color called Elfic Flesh from Vallejo to do some sanital highlights. The model next to that, I'm gonna use the standard slap chop recipe. I've only primed it using a black primer, and then I will dry brush it with some gray and then some white. The big guy second to last, I have applied a black primer and then I applied the gray layer as a sanital highlight using the airbrush instead of dry brushing it on. And the guy on the far right, I have only base coated with a brown using an airbrush and then I will dry brush on the same color as I did on the model on the far left, the white yellowish color. And in the end, I will also dry brush all of these models with a layer of white to get some extra highlights. And what do I hope to achieve by doing this? Well, I want to see how much difference using an airbrush does. And I also want to see how much difference using a different shade of base coat rather than black does as well. And after these models are all ready for the contrast layer, I will just paint them using contrast paints. I will not apply any highlights because the point here is to see what difference using different color base coats does and also see what difference the airbrush does rather than just dry brushing. So here we have the finished product. And I think it turned out really, really well. I'm super happy, especially with the metallic parts, the gold metal that I painted. But to be honest, I don't think that you can tell that much of a difference between the different styles here. There are a few places where you can see quite a clear difference. One of them are on the bone headdress that this, this wizard is wearing, compared to the bone pauldron on this girl here. And I think the big difference is that when you paint with an airbrush, you get quite a, a smooth finish. So you get like less deep shadows. And when you paint only using dry brush, you get like larger, darker areas still remaining. So you get like deeper shadows instead of the, the smoothness. And you can also see here on this model that has not been airbrushed, that in the harder to reach places, like in the neck here, for example, 
it is quite dark since it's quite hard to get in there with with the dry brush and when you're using the airbrush it's quite quite a lot easier to get into all those those nooks and crannies so i have a lot deeper shadows in some places on the ones that have only been dry brushed another thing i would like to mention is how the shadows turned out on the models that i used the brown undercoat for as you can see here, quite a lot of the brown shines through and it looks really really good. If I would have painted this model with like the standard slap shop recipe of the black primer, grey and a white dry brush, then this shadow would have been black. And considering the skin color I'm going for here, it looks way better with the brown. So all in all, there are some minor differences between these painting styles, but my favorite one is probably the one I used on the Shaman, because you get a really nice color on the shadows, where they match the contrast paint that I was using. So my recommendation would be, don't go with a black base coat, use a base coat that match the contrast colors that you're going to use. And I would also say that if you have access to an airbrush, I would use it to apply a base coat and then a zenithal highlight before going over it with the final dry brush. And I guess that's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a like, please comment as it really helps the algorithm get going. And yeah, I'm gonna go play a game with my newly painted warband. See ya.